Hi guys, so in today's video I thought I would keep my cat ears on because at the start of this video, like when I started filming, obviously I'm filming the outro and intro after I've done all my makeup, but when I started filming my hair was straight and then at the end of filming my hair is like, it's gone so like wavy, so I thought I would just keep my cat ears on for the little intro. You will have to bear with me as it is currently 28 degrees in the UK which is really hot. We don't have air conditioning inside um, so I'm just currently like frying in my room. <laughs> I thought I would do a testing American makeup video. If you guys saw a couple of weeks back I did actually go to Florida. I got quite a lot of American goodies. I did do an American makeup haul so if you want to see that then just check back on my channel. Um, but yeah from that video I had a bunch of new makeup and so I thought I would test a load of it in this video and that's what I'm gonna do. If you guys are revising for exams in this heat, then I'm really sorry, and I hope you aren't struggling too much. I need to go take a shower. Jesus, I haven't even started filming yet, and I'm already sweating. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use, um, I think it's supposed to be used more, like, after, oh, okay, it says use before moisturizer throughout the day, or as a final step following makeup application. If product gets into eyes, rinse well with water. Well, let's hope I don't get it in my eyes, but um, this is the Mario Radescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea, and honestly, I don't care what this is used for, but I'm gonna spray it on my face just to cool myself down a bit. Ah, <sighs> that is so much better. Okay, so that feels really refreshing, and it smells really good. And also, it's got like some good properties for your skin, um, and it is cruelty-free and paraben-free, which is also another good thing to know. And I think in the UK, you can actually get this on Beauty Bay. I'm not sure how expensive it is, and I know the rose water one is the most popular, but I like this one. It's nice. One of the foundations I got was the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, but I tested this in my um, Nikki Tutorials Maybe Buy It video, so I'm not going to use this today. The foundation I'm going to be using today, I, I'm not sure if I've actually used on my channel before, but I have included this in an American makeup haul, I think, like, last summer or something. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. And CoverGirl is actually the same brand as Max Factor in the UK. And I know that Max Factor have got a 3-in-1 foundation in a really similar bottle. So I'm hoping they're the same, fingers crossed, because I love this foundation. I've been using it for, like the past couple of weeks um, on and off and I really love it. It has a really nice finish on the skin and on me, like as it goes throughout the day, it doesn't end up looking horrible, like it kind of gets oily in a nice way if that makes any sort of sense. Okay, so I'm just sponging this onto my face. That's weird. I'm confused, what have I done wrong? This normally gives me really good coverage. It might, I feel like it's not combining very well with the Mario Badescu spray. Or it could just be because it's really hot today, but it is so hot that my lip balm literally melted. I went to put on lip balm and it was like liquid. <laughs> By the way, sorry if this side is a bit overexposed, it's because I've got my window to my right and it's really sunny. You can already tell. <laughs> okay, so for my concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. You can get this from QVC UK, um, and it comes with a sponge, but on there, it's £28. Whereas in America, it was $25, which I think is about... I don't actually know how much that is. Um, maybe, like, £18? Um, so, yeah, it's obviously a lot cheaper to buy in America, but... If you are desperate and you're in the UK, then you can get it on QVC UK. And this stuff is really, really good. Like, it really is amazing. But it just sucks that it's so expensive. I'm sorry, guys. Like, you can see how much a little goes a long way, like, under your eyes. But at the moment, I need the coverage because, um... I've got a few blemishes. I didn't actually buy a powder when I was in America, but I am going to be using an American brand. This is the RCMA No Colour Powder. Um, this powder I do really like the fact that it is translucent it, translucent, it doesn't flash back, but I've heard a lot of people saying that they find on their oily skin that it doesn't kind of hold up for as long as other powders. And honestly, at first, I didn't notice that, and I blamed the foundations that I was wearing, because I tested a couple of new foundations when I first got this powder, and I was like, oh, they're clearly not, you know, that great for oily skin, but maybe it was the powder, you know? Like, I'm not sure. I'm gonna test it again today, and see how it holds up throughout the day. Um, my voice just squeaked, what was that? I just put it in like an old translucent powder pot from my old NYC smooth skin powder. Do you guys remember when that was my favourite? And I will test out how long the RCMA powder lasts on my skin, and I'll probably let you guys know on my Snapchat or Twitter, um, 
If you're not following, they are just Soph Does Nails, and I'll also probably mention in a future video as well, so there we go. Okay, so when I was America, in America, if you saw in my haul, I got the Benefit Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3, which obviously you can get in the UK, but I thought I would just use it in this video. I thought I would just use it in this video because it was in my American makeup haul. Get out the packaging. So this brow pencil... Oh god, I probably just broke it. Three. No, I'm... Every time I film, I drop something. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> this has got a spoolie on one side and then the other side has got this kind of angled pencil thing. I feel like this might be a bit too warm toned for me, but I'll give it a go. But I will use it anyway because it is a testing video. The formula is nice. Like, it's not too creamy, but not too hard. It's just like a nice in between. Not too bad, huh? That was pretty quick and easy to use. I feel like if you, you know, this would be really good on like a daily basis if you don't want to use like a pomade or something. I think I just need a slightly ashier colour. Also today I'm testing a couple of new brushes by NYX. Um, they've just launched some brushes I think which you can get on their um, website and obviously in their store and um, by the way guys, if you're wondering, um, I do have two cream highlighters. I've got the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and the Maybelline Strobing Liquid, but I'm going to do a separate video on these. I'm not quite sure what this one is used for. It's like a giant highlighter brush. So I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which, oh my god, this stuff. I'm in love with it. It smells amazing. It's a very overpowering smell. The actual bronzer itself is gorgeous. When I wore this a couple of videos ago, everyone said that my... Face was too orange, but um, you know, it's bronzer. Bronzer is supposed to be kind of orangey toned. And in my daily life, I have been wearing this quite a lot and I love it. It's just got such a nice formula. Obviously, if you're into actual contouring, you would use a more kind of ashy shade for bronzing. Like, I just love this stuff. And I'm using one of the bigger, like, fluffier brushes. The handles are so cool. Just bronze up my face, really because it's hot out today and I feel like I need to look a bit more bronzed. Like it honestly smells like a tropical perfume. I know that some people aren't gonna like that, but I personally quite like it. I really like this brush for bronzing. Okay, so for my highlighter today, I have some stuff from Ofra, which wasn't in my haul, but basically Ofra saw my uh, video reviewing the Nikki Tutorials collection, which I did by myself, um, and they asked if I would like to pick out a couple of like things to test, which was so, so nice of them. Um, so obviously you guys, I went for the highlighter palette um, just because I needed to test Rodeo Drive and Blissful. Unfortunately Blissful is too dark for me um, and Rodeo Drive is just about on the point of okay if I use a small amount but these highlighters are honestly the best highlighters I've ever used. Like the formula is just the nicest formula of highlighter I've ever tried. I'm just gonna do a little swatch comparison compared to the Nikki Tutorials one. So this one on the end here is Blissful. The one next to it is Rodeo Drive. This one is the gold from the Nikki Tutorials palette and this one is the white from the Nikki Tutorials palette. So as you can see, um, Blissful and the golden shade from the Nikki palette um, those two are very very similar and if you watch my video those are both too dark for me Rodeo Drive I can just about get away with which is this one this one if you have pale skin this highlighter here let me just do a couple of swatches like it is just beautiful like the formula of these are just insane so there are some swatches down there like those three mixed together are just perfect um, but yeah this one has basically got all of Ofra's Highlighters, I think that one that I just showed you, the wheel one, is called Beverly Hills. I'm using the NYX little highlighter brush. So, I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of Rodeo Drive, and they are literally the most pigmented highlighters in the world, so... You need, like, oh my god, you need the tiniest amount. Can you see that? I don't want to put too much of this one on because it is a tiny bit too dark. But, I feel like the light in my bedroom is, like, kind of not showing you how beautiful that is. It's really hard to show highlight on a sunny day just because it's so like overexposed. I'm then going in with, I think this one is called Beverly Hills and I'm just gonna mix the palest colors together and add those over the top and like, oh, can you guys see this? And in the UK here, I think you can get them on Beauty Bay and on the Ofra website, I believe I have a discount code which is so f 30 I think I'll have it in the description box. I don't think it's currently like it might not be set up at the moment I'm not sure but yeah, I think that is a uh, Discount code that I do have at the moment. It is not an affiliate code because I'm in the process of like setting it up But 
Feel free to use it if you want to shop on the Ofra website to get 30% off. If you are a tiny bit darker than me, go for Rodeo Drive. If you are medium skin tone, go for Blissful. And if you are super pale, either go for the Nikki Tutorials one or go for the one that's called Beverly Hills because there's some pale colours in there. So I didn't actually buy any eyeshadows when I was in America, but um, I do have a couple of American eyeshadows to show you. So Beauty Bear at the moment are currently having a sale this weekend. You can get 30% when you 30% off when you buy two lipsticks and I think it's three for two on like selected eyeshadows and stuff. They have a bunch of discounts and I think they've got 30% off quite a lot of their palettes as well. Um, over on my Instagram story I posted a bunch of them because they very kindly sent me some stuff. They sent me three eyeshadows which are the Morphe eyeshadow in vanilla something? Vanilla pudding I think. Um, Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Take Two and the Coloured Rain eyeshadow in Gingerbread. So I'm just going to use this one in Gingerbread and then a bit of the Morphe one. I'm actually just going to do the most simple eye you did ever see. So I'm using a couple of the NYX blending brushes and I'm just going to literally run this colour through my crease. I'm just so used to it being so dull outside. It's normally pretty easy to film, you know? I also normally film at night, but I'm not gonna build it up any more than that just because I want this to be a really pretty kind of natural-ish daytime look. Oh, I then have a ColourPop one, which I forgot about. Um, my friend's grandparents live in America and um, we ordered this stuff to their house and then they came over to visit and like bought it with them but you can just order straight off the Colourpop website, they do ship to the UK and I got this eyeshadow in the shade Sailor which is like a, it's like a duochromey bluey purpley champagne colour like it is so hard to describe but can you like see these different colours in it? So I'm just going to put that on my eyelid, whoa, oh wow. I feel like this would be beautiful for like a halo eye or something. This is literally like the most simple eye look that I've shown you guys on my channel I think ever. Colourpop is honestly one of my favourite brands. And then finally I'm using this Morphe one on my inner corners and you could 100% use it. Literally I, I just need to stop being a YouTuber which is there. You can't really see because I've got highlighter all over my hand but I'm just going to put this on my inner corners. Okay, so then for eyeliner, I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. By the way, I know that most of these brands you can actually get in the UK, but this is literally just, I'm doing this based off my American haul, because most of these brands like originated in America or whatever, or they're more popularly sold, popularly popular, they're more popular in America, and they're sold more there in shops. Ignore me. <laughs> so I'm gonna test this, oh, hello. Oh my god, yes, I think I'm gonna love this eyeliner. The nib is really, really thin. Oh, look how black that is. This stuff is so good. I really like this eyeliner. I managed to do both eyes without having to shake it, so that is a good sign that it's not too dry. Okay, so then for my mascara, I'm using the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. And obviously, we can't get CoverGirl in the UK, which sucks, but if you are going to America... Oh, look at the brush. That is so weird. Okay, so I don't really see the benefit of the little ball thing on the end, but wow! Look at my lashes, they look amazing! This mascara is honestly amazing. <laughs> it's a little bit clumpy, but I'd rather my mascara be clumpy than, like, give me no volume. Okay, so there we go, that mascara I absolutely love. I think that is great. When Ofa very kindly sent me over a package, they did send me a few of their liquid lipsticks as well. Obviously I've already got the Nikki Tutorials one, which I love. And then you may have noticed if you pay attention to the description box of my videos that I've been wearing quite a few of these liquid lipsticks in like previous videos for the past week. My absolute favourite uh, shade that they sent me is called Dubai, which is like a grey brownie nude. <laughs> Surprise. Sao Paulo, which is like a really pretty nude colour. These liquid lipsticks lipsticks are some of the best if not the best like my favorites are the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks but these ones are also some of my all-time favorite lipsticks like I've only been wearing them for the past kind of like two weeks since I got them but they are incredible like they smell incredible they are not drying at all and they are so they're just so so good so I'm gonna put this one in a minute 
but I just want to test out a really cool thing first. So if you guys watched my haul, you would have seen that I got this really cool like holographic pouch from Lipstick Queen. This one is called Morning Sunshine. It's like metal um, and it feels really cool. Oh, I need this today. And then you wind it up and it's a yellow lipstick, but when you put this on your skin or on your lips, it goes pink. Oh yeah, that is pink. How did it do that? It feels so balmy and moisturizing. Like, how incredible is that? I think you can actually get this in the UK, so I'll link it down below. Well, all of the products will be linked down below, but... That's pink. But it's yellow in here. It's yellow, but it's pink. Okay. I feel like it's a lip stain as well, because my lips are now pretty pink. So I'm gonna use the shade Sao Paulo by Ofra. It's just the nicest smelling thing I've ever smelled. I'm gonna then test the Lipstick Queen uh, lipstick in the shade Black Lace Rabbit and this one has really pretty packaging. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Look at the packaging. It's got like literal black lace on it and it's literally like a black lipstick in here. You put this over the top of a lipstick and it's supposed to make it more of like a different colour. Like, let's see if this works. Oh my god, that has just turned my lipstick into like a grazy nude. And obviously it like adds a bit of shine as well. What she showed us in, in the shop is she had like a really kind of baby pink and then she put this over it and it turns it into a more of like, um, what's the word, like mauvey pink. So I think this is a pretty cool idea. Okay, so the final step of this makeup, which I definitely need today in this heat, is to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Sp Setting Spray. I know in the UK they've just um, kind of like repackaged this and stuff. I feel like most of that just went on my lap. Oh, it smells like cucumbers. I just wanted to show you in slightly different lighting, like a bit later on in the day. Because earlier on, like when I was filming, I think because my room was so bright, it just wasn't picking up the highlighter like it normally does, because I normally film at night, but this is what the highlighter actually looks like. Okay, so I'm standing in the bathroom, but I just wanted to show you guys how the makeup is looking. It's currently like, I think about half three, and I put the uh, face makeup on at like, half 11 so it's been on for four hours now and to be honest it's looking pretty good considering i have been outside like it's really really hot today um and yeah no it's actually looking pretty good i'm getting a little bit oily down my nose but my forehead and my cheeks are still like completely matte um so i feel like the powder is fine either that or it could be the urban decay um setting spray because I feel like by this point my face would normally be looking oilier than it is. So far, I feel like if you use the powder in combination with setting spray, then it seems like it's going to be fine. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Remember that all of the products will be linked down below. I'll probably do like US and UK links. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying the heat. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I also have a second channel, which is called Sof Does Vlogs, which is linked in the description box down below. Um, and I've just uploaded a new vlog on there. Um, so yeah I hope you're all having a great Friday and hope you have a good weekend and I will see you in my next video bye